So I'm writing a book that I'm calling The Gospel of Hell, and I want to share with you something fascinating. This text right here in Revelation 20 verses 9 and 10 is often used to try and justify the belief in eternal torment. And the phrase often seized upon is the phrase here which says forever and ever. Now this phrase forever and ever is three words in the Greek, for, ever, ever. Now the word for here is very fascinating. It's a word used to refer to time or place. It also means throughout or to the end. Now the word for the Greek word ever, it's ion. It means a period of time or an age. But let's also look at this word for torment. It means to torture or toil or vex. Fascinatingly, up here, it also means to test metals. This brings to mind a text that Paul wrote about in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Here Paul talks about how Jesus is the only foundation we can build on for eternal life. And Paul talks about how the time is coming when every man's work, this is verse 13, shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. Fascinating language here. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Paul talks about how if our work is solid, it will survive the fire. But if not, our work will not survive the fire. This is why the Bible says in places like Malachi that the wicked will be reduced to stubble. They will not suffer an eternal flame. Isaiah also tells us the same thing that Paul and Malachi do, that the wicked will be stubble. Isaiah says it too, the wicked will be stubble. And Isaiah says in perfect agreement with Paul in 1 Corinthians 3, that the righteous, they will survive the fires of the end, and they will dwell with everlasting burnings, who is God himself. Now, if we study the immediate context of Revelation 20, verses 9 and 10, verse 9 says that the wicked are devoured. And that word for devoured means exactly that. It also means consumed by eating, to squander, or to waste. Interestingly, it means by fire to devour, or to utterly consume. And so the Bible here is telling us that the time is coming when your work, my work, everybody's work will be tested by fire. The righteous will be found to be fireproof and thus will be able to survive God's presence. The wicked, however, will be found to be not fireproof. And they will not be burned for eternity. Quite the opposite. While they will suffer fire, it will not be for eternity. It will only be, as Malachi, Isaiah, and the Psalms says... It will only be until they become ashes.